Hello and welcome to Making Drink. My name is Derek, and today we're going to be making our own gimlet, uh, a gin gimlet with our own house made lime cordial. The gimlet, as it is known today, was modernized in the early 1920s as a drink with gin and roses lime cordial. In essence, it's a drink of gin, lime juice, and sugar. But to say this drink was created or invented in the 1920s is not accurate. As we know, British sailors were using gin and lime and sugar well before that, uh, probably even before the 1800s. In fact, this same recipe of spirit and lime and sugar was also used by British sailors with rum, which is where the Navy grog comes from. Now the name Gimlet comes from a specific tool that was once used by British naval officers to tap into the barrels they had aboard their ships. This drink was created out of necessity and it has slightly evolved over time, but the exact origin of this drink, the exact creator of this drink, it's, it's not really relevant to the way we think about the drink today. Now, some modern bartenders will use fresh lime juice and sugar, but that's not the same as Rose's lime cordial. Uh, however, today, um, instead of using fresh lime juice and sugar, and instead of using Rose's lime cordial, we're gonna make our own lime cordial because we can and because it'll taste better. The lime cordial recipe today is from Jeffrey Morgenthaler. He's a well-known West Coast bartender from Portland with many original recipes that I'm sure one day we will get to on this channel. And he is the author of at least a couple of cocktail books. And I will link to those books in the pinned comment below. But we're gonna start with one ounce of citric acid by volume. Now, citric acid is pretty cheap. You can find this on Amazon. We're going to need one ounce. All right, and now I've already weighed out and measured out 250 grams of sugar. Next up, you're going to need eight ounces of hot water. I did have this on the boil about 10 minutes ago, but it, it doesn't need to be boiling, just any hot water. All right, next up, we are gonna need some lime peel. So before we juice any limes, let's go ahead and get about an ounce and a half of freshly grated lime peel. I'm gonna use a microplane to do this. I also wanna make sure when you're using lime peels that you wash your fruit, that way you don't have any of the wax or anything left over from the grocery store. Okay, I'm gonna call that about three good sized limes. It's gonna get you about an ounce and a half. Uh, doesn't have to be exact. We're doing by volume here and not weight. So I'm just gonna add this in. All right, next up, we're gonna need an ounce and a half of freshly squeezed lime juice. So for me, that was one and a half limes. Gonna blend it starting on low to high until all of those lime peels are incorporated into the lime cordial. Next, we can strain this into a container. Okay, there you go. Our own homemade housemade lime cordial. Let's give this a taste. It's still warm. Ooh. Packs a punch. It is very tart. All right, now that we have our lime cordial, we can build our gimlet. Some recipes call for this to be stirred, but I like to shake it. So I'm gonna start with my small shaker and one ounce of our lime cordial. I'm gonna go two ounces of a London dry gin. Then shake for 10 to 20 seconds. All right, we're gonna fill a coupe glass 
their gimlet. If you want a garnish, you could do a lime wheel. And there you go. We have our gimlet with our house-made lime cordial. Let's taste it. It's really good. Many recipes call for more gin. Some call for less. Some call equal parts of lime cordial to gin. Uh, this one is a good balanced drink. Definitely can taste the gin. So it's definitely more gin forward, obviously, than one that would be half and half. It is a refreshing lime gin drink. Uh, this is really delicious and something that I know we can use in other cocktails moving forward. I would highly recommend uh, making this instead of buying Rose's Lime Cordial because it's so easy to make. This is a great drink anytime uh, on the rocks during the summertime. It would be a nice refreshing drink to have. Uh, classic gin cocktail, one that you should definitely check out. If you enjoyed this video, let me know um, by giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. If you try this recipe out for the lime cordial from Jeffrey Morgenthaler, let me know and let me know how it turned out. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.